What links battlefields and banknotes? At first glance, chromium oxide green isn't the most exciting colour. It's an opaque, dull pigment with a hue reminiscent of overcooked vegetables. But that muted quality is one of its advantages. The pigment was developed at the beginning of the 19th century, around the time that military camouflage was evolving. For centuries, European armies issued uniforms that ensured that soldiers were visible on smoke-filled battlefields. But from the mid-19th century, they began adapting to new forms of warfare. First, uniforms became drab in shades of grey and khaki, and then camouflage patterns were developed for artillery, vehicles and defensive structures. Chromium oxide green was one of the pigments used to paint camouflage. But that's not all. In 1862, chromium oxide green was first used to print US dollar bills. The pigment was ideal because it's resistant to fading, and the particular shade made the bills difficult to counterfeit with photographic processes. The pigment not only gave rise to the name greenbacks, but also became a defining visual symbol of American currency. And while soldiers and American bankers relied on its practicality, artists like Paula Modison Becker embraced its earthy, mossy tones in her landscapes, and it remains a useful colour for many artists today.